Hey, what's going on? This is Sam. Uh, I am known as the Cali Cowboy. Just started my YouTube videos. This is my first one. And let me introduce myself. Um, I've been a Cowboys fan since 2002. Um, I love them all my life. Um, I used to live in Texas, but I also live in California. You know, born and raised in California. Also raised in Texas because of uh, uh, issues with the family, you know. So I grew up a Texas kid playing football in Texas and uh, high school football is real big, you know, football state. And uh, I've always just uh, followed the Cowboys, you know, the stars just captivated me. And, uh, I've been a fan ever since. I can always remember, you know, childhood memories of uh, Emmett Smith and Troy Aikman and uh, the Super Bowls, you know, as a little kid, you know, watching the Super Bowls. And uh, when I got a little older, I just became a fan. And, uh, you know, I've been, the, been a fan since the Julius Jones days, the Roy Williams, the Roy Glover. Yeah, I used to, those were my favorite players, actually. And, uh, you know, they're underrated, but, hey, you know, I like Roy Williams the most because, you know, he was a big hitter, you know. I, lo I love the hits, and he was one of my favorite players back then. But all-time, you know, Emmett Smith, the epitome of uh, consistency. That's my all-time favorite. Uh, another one is DeMarcus Ware. Kind of mad that he let him go. But at the same time, you know, we let him go for cost reasons and age and declining pr productivity. So it was inevitable. So yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit about me. Uh, as I said, this is my first video. And... Uh, I just want to talk about real quick, since the draft just happened, uh, we had the draft go on, so I'll just talk about that real quick, uh, my thoughts about that. Um, it was a good draft, you know, we had good picks. Um, the first pick uh, was controversial, you know, uh, we didn't pick Manziel, <laughs> and we got uh, Zach Martin, offensive tackle, he's going to be a guard I believe though. Uh, he's, a, he's a solid pick, safe pick, you know. He was, he was on our board, the highest player on our board at the moment, besides Manziel. Um, you know, it, it's a hard choice, you know. You either want Manziel or you don't. And personally, I would have picked Manziel because, you know, you could back him up behind Romo, stash him up for a couple years. Because Romo, you know, he's not going to be here for long, three, maybe two, three years longer. So, yeah. Um, but it's still a good pick, you know. Safety, O-line. Now our O-line is beast mode. We're going to have our O-line to come for many years now, and uh, that, that was a good pick, for the most part. And uh, second round, I loved this pick, but I didn't love how we got the pick. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence, I've been wanting him since January. You know, <laughs> I've seen his highlights, and I love him. He's, he reminds me of Demarcus Ware. Not saying he's Demarcus Ware, but, you know, he, he, he damn, damn sure looks, looks similar. So I love that pick. Didn't like how we traded a second and a third for that. Maybe a second and a fourth we could have did it for that. You know, that's the problem that the Cowboys have. Is, you know, they they just trade whatever. They need to get better at uh, using their picks better. You know, like not just giving up the first offer. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure what they're doing, but they need to fix that up real quick for, for next year's draft. And, um, yeah, I love that pick. Uh, the next one was in the fourth round, Anthony Hitchens. I don't know about that one. That one was suspect. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to contribute right away. He might be a special teams, but other than that, uh, he, you know, he's a solid tackler. He, he's uh, fundamentally sound. Uh, but I feel like we could have got him later, you know, later in the rounds. He, he was projected to be undrafted or in some people's you know, uh, rankings. So I don't know what they were thinking right there. I didn't like that one too much. But hey, he's a solid player. I guess, you know, we got to go with it. <laughs> and uh, who was next? Uh, Devin, Devin Street. I, I really like that one. I think maybe he we, we traded up because we felt like he wouldn't be there at our pick. So maybe that was a little smarter. And we definitely needed another receiver to go with. Uh, Terrence Williams, Dez, and uh, Dreads. I can't remember Dreads. Dwayne Harris, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot. But yeah, uh, that was definitely a good pick. He reminds me of Miles Austin, just taller, and uh, he's real. Looks reliable. He's an all-time rec uh, receiving leader at Pitt, so that was a nice pick. And uh, I'm not gonna go into the other ones really. Those are because they're seventh rounders. You know, we had a lot of seventh round picks, but I will say that uh, I love that we picked up the undrafted free agent fullback uh, J.C. Copeland. I was looking at him. I was hoping and praying that they got him. And, 
I'm happy because that's something DeMarco Murray needs. He needs that lead blocker. Uh, you know, in his rookie year, he had Tony Fiametta blocking for him, and that was his best year. Uh, and uh, maybe he'll get back to that. With uh, Now we got a monster 270-pound fullback. He's pretty quick, too. He can he can run and catch the ball, too. So, you know, I'm optimi optimistic about that. I hope he makes the team. And, uh, yeah, that's just one, uh, one bright spot, I thought. That was awesome. Yeah, so that was the draft. Uh, overall grade, I have to say, a B-. minus. You know, it's probably a B-plus in the picks that we got, but like a C-plus in the way we got them. You know, uh, trading and, and uh, all that. Not getting as much value for each pick that we could. So, yeah. Overall, I love the draft, you know. We've been doing good in the draft for the past years. So I'm, I'm pretty optimistic. And you'll notice uh, in the upcoming videos, I'm an optimistic fan. I'm not very pessimistic. I always love to have positive vibes instead of the negative ones, like the negative Cowboy fans. Like, like, oh, you know. Yeah, all that. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to have plenty more videos to come for every, hopefully every week, uh, being as the off season and uh, yeah I uh, look forward to making more videos and go ahead and subscribe and like this video and subscribe to my channel <laughs> alright and you guys have a good day